All right, what's up, old school gamers? It is Wolfman in the house once again. Uh, previous video I had was how to clean it, the, the NES games, without taking off uh, the screws. Uh, this way, or this video, should I say, I'm going to basically show you how to do it. Uh, last time it was uh, I posted that video, it was it was like 40 something degrees outside and it was cold as hell. So haven't got so much crap about it. So. I said, fuck it, I'm just going to do a visual on how to do it. Alright, so, basically, what you got here to clean it, like I showed you last time, is the brass sew. So, now here it is, middle of summer. Right now, it's about probably 98 degrees outside, and it's hot as hell. But, uh, this stuff will liquefy, and all the hot stuff, or the heat, will make the clear liquid flow up, and the solid liquid flow down. So, make sure you shake it up. You know... And I've already done that already, so it's good. All right. Second thing I, I said in the, in the previous video was to use witch hazel, which cleans just as good as alcohol. But I've used all that up, so I went ahead and went to CVS and got some alcohol, which is good. You know, it dries quicker. Uh, thing I said in the previous video is use a shirt, which is cool. I'm out of shirts. They're all messed up now. So, uh... A sock would be fine, like an old sock, and I'll show you the technique with that here in a second. And then, of course, your Q-tips to go off and clean up uh, with the alcohol. And then here's the magic one I got here. This basically meant a rod right here it comes off of, uh, like when you get a door handle. This is the metal rod that goes in between and, and makes it, you know, twist, turn, lock, and all that stuff. The reason why I like this because it's flat, as you can see. It's flat as hell. A coat hanger will work fine, you just gotta be a little easier, and we'll go over with that in a second. But anyways, so, I told you guys use the double technique before of folding it over. So what I like to do is I'll take this, put it into the uh, sock, shirt, whatever, fold it over twice, you see what I'm saying? Just take it like that, fold it, once you got the fold, just place it in there, fold it over like so, and then you can have it protruding like that so you can grab it and then fold it like that so you have a good point on it okay now that you got that take your brass so like so okay now like I said you don't need much so I'm gonna show you how much I usually put you know just like that you know just a dab that might be even a little bit too much but what you can do just get your paper towel or something like that like so and just like what like, like this is what I do right here is I just keep it like that it's about that much on there. You can always come back and use the stuff that you wiped off and uh, put it on there. Alright, so now here we go. Check it out. You got the bottom of the game right here. Now in the video I told you before, you can uh, go over and proceed with the wiping. What I like to do is I like to start at the bottom. So what you do is you take it, insert it, like so, at the bottom. See where it goes? Right at the bottom of, that, of the... Uh, cartridge right there what you're gonna do is just gonna scrub like so okay now people say you get a fully better clean out when you take and use the key uh, which may be true you know but fuck it I don't want to fucking go off and wait for that son of a bitch to come in the damn mail and I just don't have time this game I just came in and bought this it's, it's uh, 1943 I bought it at uh, Edward McKay here in uh, North Kakalaki. Cool place, man. If you guys live around here or whatever or have one in your area, check it out. They have some awesome selection of games, man. Alright, so as you can see with the scrubbing, see what that did? It cleans it. Voila. So what I'll do is I'll take the dirty side. You can flip it over if you want or you can redo it. You know? What I'll do is I'll take the, uh, I know my hands in the way, but take the stuff that's already on there. Now, proceed to be, wipe it. It's kind of hard to do with this, man. And then you got it on there, as you can see. And commence again. I, I like to scrub two times. You know what I'm saying? Just to really get it out, because that's a lot of crud, and, and uh, whoever had this game before didn't take care of it. So, just like that. You know? Just like so. You know? And this stuff does clean 100%. I don't give a damn. People say, don't use this, don't use that. Straight up alcohol. I mean, I know, I understand straight up alcohol when you clean the system and uh, the game itself, it can corrode the leads. You know, I understand that shit. 
but I'll, sh I'll show you why the alcohol is good. Um, so there you go. Just clean it like that. Booyah. Alright. Okay, so once you got that dirty, you gotta flip it and find a clean spot. So you just take it off like this. Unfold it. Take that and find a clean spot. Pretty, don't take a fucking brain genius to do this shit. Alright. Fold it over like so. I'm trying to do this so you can guys can see. And then put a little bit more on there. Try to be, you know, this, if you got a lot of games, this thing will clean... This bottle of brass will clean a shitload of games because, like, of course, you see, you know, I've cleaned over 12 games already, and I still got a whole bottle of that stuff. So, like I said, you can, you don't have to use a whole bunch. Then what I do is I, I go over, since I had it on the face side, flip it over like that, and then proceed to proceed to clean the bottom. All right. Now I'm kind of I always have a habit of doing this, of wiping off access. It's just a bad habit. Kind of like my smoking. Alright. Alright, so here we go. Alright. So, get it. Put it in. And commence to clean it. Now, since it's doubled up with a shirt, it's going to be a little easier since it's not so thick. The sock is thick. So, you got to have to kind of apply a little bit of pressure, but it's not much where you got to worry about fucking it up. You know? And uh, this is just how I do it. I've been doing it. They haven't ruined any games of mine since. I've had no issues. All my games have been clean. Bought them at flea markets, you know. And uh, I do it to all of them. I never put a, dirt, a game that I bought anywhere without cleaning it first in my new system. And the 72 pin connector, you can go online. There's a couple cats out there. They got a good, good video of uh, cleaning uh, 72 pin connectors. But clean those first or repair them before you put an old game in you know clean the game first of course don't take fucking brain genius to do that shit but like I said just wipe it up you know of course you see I'm going and cleaning the other side look at that alright so now that I got that try to do this quick well, basically, when you do that, take the take a clean side, you know, fold it in there, wipe it in, you know what I'm saying, to get the gunk that's, that's remaining. Do both sides like this. Take your alcohol swab. Dip your dip your Q-tip in there. I'm just gonna try to do this real quick. What I do is I roll it on the on a paper towel I have to get the excess off. Take it in here, get the fuzz off. Yeah, son of a bitch. Yeah, fuzz is not good. Make sure you don't get it in there. And then basically what the Q-tip is for is to clean up all the excess that's in there, top and bottom. That's what I use it for. Witch hazel works too, but it takes a little bit more longer to dry. You know what I'm saying? What I like to do is I bend it like this and then go along it. Not too much pressure, just like that. You see, you get some of that gunk off that's remained in. And I flip it over like this, dip a little bit more, wipe it off on the paper towel a little bit, not too damp. Go in there, just like so. You see, some of that gunk comes off. Booyah! Clean game. Now, so if you want to go off and continue cleaning it a couple more times than I have, go for it, man. It won't hurt. So I guarantee you, man, after all that steps like that, you know, all them steps I've done, I'll probably end up letting it sit and then doing it one more time. Because you can see, man, this thing left some crud, man. And it probably wouldn't hurt to go off and clean it again. Just a quick video step-by-step -step of how to do it. Have fun. Rock on. Enjoy them old school games. My opinion, they're a lot better than these new crappy games, man. Too many buttons, man. I'm simple. I'm old school. I'm a lot older than you guys probably think I am. <laughs> I've been around since the NES when it first came out. When Ataris were rocking. So, have fun, man. Hope you enjoy. And you got any questions, man, leave a comment. I'll get back to you if I can. Later. Peace.